Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and welcome to my official Overwatch 2 skin collection video. This is what virginity looks like, where you have nearly every single item, basically every single skin, with the exception of like the new Overwatch 2 shop skins, because, well, I don't want to go broke. I still have taxes to pay, and maybe uh, to eat a little bit too. Now you're going to see almost every single hero has at least one missing item, keeping it from a completed hero gallery, and that <laughs> it makes me upset, because I don't know what that missing item is. First up, we're going to be looking at D.Va. I wanted to showcase all of my skins I got. The Overwatch League skins, Epic skins, even the Rare skins, but more importantly, the Legendary skins and the Rare skins that I have. Like, for an example, the 2020 All-Star Pacific skin is probably my rarest D.Va item because this was only made available during a certain time frame during the All-Star weekend in 2020. But then Blizzard decided to take away my happiness by having a lot of the All-Star skins return. And even though I joke about that, I do like the fact that there's not really a lot of exclusive skins in the game like yeah these were in celebration for the all-star event but then they came back along with the Reinhardt and the Mercy and the Lucio and the Genji one and I like that because that means that these skins are way more attainable by the various overwatch players but now they're not so much because you guys spend real money for them <laughs> Yay! Now, we won't go too heavily in depth with a lot of these skins because there's just so many of them. I will talk about my favorite, which some of my favorite D.Va skins. Probably EDM D.Va and the All-Star skins are some of my favorite. I got all four anniversary D.Va skins, which I just realized she has so many anniversary skins. And one of them came from Black Cat. And then here are just some Overwatch League skins. You're going to see I have a few Houston Outlaw skins because I was a huge Houston Outlaws fan. And now, not so much because, well, I was on the Florida Mayhem. And here we have the boy Doomfist. He has some heater of skins. Probably Probably not his base legendary skins. These are pretty garbage. These are kind of inspired from Tekken. A lot of people say, even though this isn't really necessarily confirmed, but it makes sense because, well, he is a punchy punch boy, and we see that with karate. Probably one of my least favorite skins of all time, but I think my favorite has got to be formal because this was part of the Masquerade comic that was eventually made into an actual skin. And then we have Thunder, probably the most popular skin of all time that I also said was the most ugly skin of all time because he quite he literally is ugly. It's not a bad looking skin. Just look at his face. Would you let your daughter date him? Probably not. This was a San Francisco Shaka Championship skin, and it's probably one of the best championship skins of all time. This was celebrating their very first uh, championship. And then here we just have some of the Epic skins, the Overwatch League skins. General, that was part of the Founders Pack along with Sombra. And then the Starter Pack skin. I actually love this skin because this is like the gold version. There's always like a Tracer Gold skin and a Widow Gold skin. Well, this is a Doomfist Gold skin. Not a, a lot of skins compared to D.Va, but a good healthy amount that can make Doom fist look like a menacing boy. Joker Queen doesn't have a lot of skins, but what she does have is one of the best Mythic skins that we're probably ever gonna get, and my favorite part about Zeus has gotta be the lightning bolt for her knife. She's throwing a lightning bolt just like Zeus, plus the colors that make the lightning bolt, like with this blue lightning bolt or the reddish pinkish one, ooh, it's fire. Besides the Zeus skin, we also got Executioner, one of the two Halloween skins that came with the recent Halloween event. I love the skin, the very fitting for the Junker Queen, and then some of the best Overwatch League skins like this white one is phenomenal it really makes her red eyes pop with the white face paint And then we have the milk skin in the form of beast hunter that was with the, <laughs> the season one battle pass And that's all for the junk queen skins I don't feel really incentivized to buy the rest of these skins because I'm not really trying to complete the hero gallery because at this point It's like okay Well, I gotta go into debt to complete most of the hero gallery if I really want to Arisa is a hero that doesn't really have a lot of memorable skins with the exception of star sheep I just recently got this and it's easily like top 10 over Overwatch skins, but definitely probably Arissa's best skin. Uh, for the longest time, I used Forest Spear because it's just such a beautiful skin. But besides that, she has a lot of forgettable ones like Null Sector is pretty lame. And Bull Demon and Demon are basically the same, just like a red version and a blue version. We do have Reindeer, which uh, this came with last year's winter event. Absolutely love that. Referee, kind of lame. You, you really wouldn't expect <laughs> Arissa to be in a referee outfit. Probably someone like Reinhardt. Someone who actually, like, I guess Arissa does command, but we have have the epic skins like ice cream this is a great skin with the orissa because it's very cute very fitting for her personality my favorite is definitely the star sheep skin like if every overwatch 2 skin had this level of quality i would actually be willing to go into debt and have the irs audit me Ramacha, just like junker queen doesn't have a lot of skin so i'll go relatively quickly traveling monk came with the twitch drops where you can get him for free but that just ended so you actually gotta spend money now beside an absolute fire skin that came out of season two this is one of my favorite matcha skins that we're probably ever gonna get and then 
and Primidal that is part of the Season 2 Battle Pass at, at level or at tier 70. And then one thing that I didn't showcase in my skin video when I was showing the new things in the Winter Wonderland event is Biohazard. This isn't part of the Greek God event. This is just a skin that he's getting. Absolutely insane. Reinhardt, I unfortunately don't have a complete collection. I am missing a Minotaur that will come with the Greek God event and Prideful. A lot of the epic skins that are in the shop, I'm not really too keen on trying to buy. He has so many legendary skins and why am I going to give up a spot uh, for an epic skin? You know what I mean? And his legendary skins, these are truly works of art with the armor, with how much detail there is. This came with the release of Eichenvold. This is his master's armor, but this is also his master's armor just before he died. Uh, Griffinhardt, I liked to use a lot of the time during the Summer Games event because I'm actually a huge fan of football. <laughs> and then I called this one the, uh, the, the, the Skyrim skin. And then the rest of them are, are, are pretty fitting for Reinhardt. Like, he is a very commanding type of leader. So, of course, you got to make him big and bold. He has a lot more serious skins. And it works for him. And I just realized just how many epic skins he's got. And I forget that some of these even exist. Definitely my favorite is probably the All-Star skin because I love the little fireflies. But this BlizzCon skin, or was it the BlizzCon skin? No, it was part of BlizzCon, but you uh, you got it if you got the virtual ticket, which I think was 50 bucks. But this one, the, the, the Skyrim skin is just so funny, man. Look at his teeth. Look at that smile. Next up is Rogue. Hog, and I feel like I'm going relatively quickly like I'm not even looking at the guns for a lot of these skins But there's just just so much to my skin collection when it comes to Roadhog's base legendary skins I never really use them Sometimes I use lacrosse because I really like uh, the broken hook there uh, Junkenstein's monster is probably one of the most classic Roadhog skins of all time I've been using Fisterman lately with the winter event But I think my favorite skin if it's not me us for the fact that well This is like a, a, an exclusive skin that celebrated the San Francisco those shocks secondary or not second second championship and then i think one of my favorites to use is militia this can be used year round and it's really dope uh the scrap gun that looks like an m16 just like an assault rifle is uh dope as well i used pig pen for a long time when i was a broke boy back in 2016 it has some of the best epic skins of all time if you are balling on budget then buy roadhog's gold gun and get some of his epic skins because they are insane like pachamari was an exclusive uh like two week events skin. Sigma is probably one of my least favorite heroes in the game. Not because I think he's broken or overpowered. He's just like a boring hero. Like uh, the mad scientist that hears voices in his head. How many times have we seen that in media? He has some good skins. I'm not trying to say that they're boring, but I really like uh, Maestro. I was in orchestra for seven years and we always bullied band kids. Also, some of these epic skins. I also forget, like the epic skins I'm always forgetting about. You're going to see a lot of Florida Mayhem skins because again, I was uh, on the team and those are the Overwatch League skins, but I think my favorite out of all of the Sigma skins is probably Flying Dutchman uh, because I love the sea urchins and the glowing effect. I love glowing skins. You're gonna see that with like Tracer and other Halloween skins down the road. Winton! He surprisingly doesn't have a lot of skins. Now, his base legendary skins, Safari and Explorer, are absolutely adorable with his tiny little mustache. Uh, Catcher, I absolutely love because I played Catcher when I was playing baseball in high school and in middle school, so I have a fond memory uh, with that skin. And then Werewolf, that was part of the free skin with twitch and then we got some of the other ones that transform it into other like mythical creatures like yeti and wukong uh, gargoyles a really dope one that came with the anniversary event you think this would come with the halloween event because he was part of the game but no and then flying ace this is actually probably the one i use the most even though i'm not really a fan of the london spitfire it's just a, such a cute skin with the colors very simple and one of the first overwatch league skins that celebrated a championship i just noticed that this skin is named banana is yellow skin that's so adorable wait do they have a brown? Oh, I thought that was exclusive to this skin. Like, they just added a little brown rotten spot for the banana skin. For him and I have a near complete skin collection. If it wasn't for Crustacean, I love this skin. I'm probably going to get it when it comes out. But why do they add some of these skins in the game? Like, this isn't part of the Greek event. This isn't part of the winter event. This is just a random skin that should have came with the summer games event. But I love it. It's really cute. Now, when it comes to the base legendary skins, I never touch these. I think they're pretty. Most of the base legendary skins, I think, are relatively lame. Lucio Ball is kind of forgettable too even though like it makes sense because he transforms in his wrecking ball into a ball but jack lantern my all-time favorite definitely top 10 favorite skin i'm probably gonna say that for 20 skins at least once uh, in this video but oh wait no snowman we gotta equip that why aren't i using snowman why am i using jack lantern hammond has so many cute skins that i i forget about like i totally forgot about jack lantern high roller a great epic skin eight ball another great skin like epic skins low-key are underrated in this game you can find some hidden treasures
Andrews in the purple category. His beard! It's so cute! The spy ah! And Zarya, probably the hero that has the worst skins in the game. And I am not capping when I say that. The base legendary skins, the worst in the whole entire game. But even her legendary skins, like the beginning summer game skins, they had growing pains. They still were keeping the format. And they still have the format where they have a silhouette of the same skin, just two different colors. Like here, it's blue and purple, and then red and black. But my favorite skin has got to be totally 80s because I absolutely love the colors. And also, the skin, the, 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 the skin for the gun also displays that same colors as well. I've been using a snowboarder a lot, though, too, because I love the, the bear, though. But then the rest of these legendary skins, like, why is th this should be an epic skin? Moving on to the epic skins, just more lame ones. Like, what? what, what this is a rare skin. What do you mean, man? Some very forgettable legendary skins, some very lame ones. On to Ash, but what we really care about is Bob. Why do I still have the Overwatch 2 skin? A anyway, my favorite part about uh, Ash's skins is not necessarily the skins itself, but the fact that you can get golden bob if you get the gold gun plus you get four at well, not i guess wait is tnt gold too i don't think tnt is gold but moving on to the actual skins we have a completed hero gallery here and now when it comes to the base legendary skins i think they're really great for what she's supposed to represent but when we get to legendary skins this is <sighs> I'm sorry, Poolside's one of my favorite. Warlock uh, is actually probably one of my least favorite. I don't like, I think he's supposed to be a golem of some sort. And then Tiger Huntress, man, what the hell? The six pack tiger skin, social light with the butler mustache combo. Letter red, Ash with the wolf skin, the granny wolf. I love this one. And then we got Deadlock. This is a, this is actually supposed to celebrate her release of the book that came out, I think, last summer. And then we got the bro, the broke boy posh skin, rare skins. Morning Girl, that was a two week event. And then Mary Outlaw, this was a skin that came in the shop. Let's keep the horniness going. First and foremost, base legendary skins, very forgettable. But when we get to the event legendary skins, I love Love these because I just know how much work went into making these skins because it's hard to make a skin for Bastion for his silhouette alone but they got to make three different versions they got to make the parts interchangeable they got to make it look good so sometimes you're gonna have misses like Avalanche isn't that great of one Gwishin even though this came with the archives man supposed to be one of the enemies from the diva cinematic not that great but then when you get something like coffin that transforms him into an actual coffin his bird I haven't really even talked about his bird uh, with brick this was a great Lego uh, crossover event that was available for two weeks but they turned his bird into Lego pieces this was from a cinematic the recent one gingerbread that you can get for one single coin and they turned his bird into a gingerbread cookie oh the sandcastle one his bird has sunglasses and, and a, a tank top uh, it's just those little tiny details that really make you appreciate a bastion skin uh, and especially like the transformation of all these birds when you always see that he has different birds it, it really makes you just want to just collect all these bastion skins just so you can just have his bird available for the highland show like it's a parrot here the gingerbread that i already mentioned before the cowboy that doesn't even know his own name cole cassidy so his base legendary skins easily forgettable but when we get to the event one specifically with lifeguard they, they, i gotta give him two kisses because oh, i gotta give him six kisses for each pack that he has some of these are misses like this skin is a uh, kind of a miss sherlock it kind of free like at the time it was a good skin but i never really even used that one deadlock this was uh another skin alongside the ash that uh, was used to celebrate the the deadlock gang and also the release of the book space raider this came with soldier 76 part of the watch point pack that was <clears throat> Uh, $40. Cole Cassidy has some of the best epic skins as well. American, this is actually one I use a lot of the time because of the pistol. Love the American flag on the pistol uh, handle and then the rest of the epic skins. Oh, Sandstorm. This was not a great uh, <laughs> limited time event. I remember when this skin came out, it was at the lowest point of Overwatch where they just changed his name. They released this skin. It was just a bad time. Echo surprisingly doesn't have a lot of skins, even though she was, I guess, the last tier release in Overwatch 1, but she's been out for like, what, two and a half years? But the skins that she does have, fire. Good and evil. This was the last MVP skin for Fleta and and they absolutely killed it. I love using this skin. Like, what skin am I use? Dance Machine? I mean, I guess. The epic skins, there's actually not a lot of skins. Ooh, Ragdoll. Again, like the epic skins, these are, this is what I'm talking about. You can find some fire epic skins for very cheap. Now, 750 credits, maybe not 
uh, that sheep, uh, but the only skin that I'm missing is Ice Angel. Again, this came with the winter event, but uh, the winter event's going on. Why isn't this skin available? All right, weebs, your time has come. We have made it to Genji. I have a completed Genji skin gallery and a near completed hero gallery uh, for Genji himself. Again, I'm just missing one item. I don't know what I'm missing here because I got every single skin. First and foremost, the first ever mythic skin with Cyber Demon. When it comes to customizing, I always uh, play around with these two colors and these two masks, and that's about it because I don't like the green. And I don't like the third one, but the flowers on the sword and the and the shurikens as well. Moving on to the rest of the skins, uh, the base legendary skins. This might be a hot take. I don't really like. Oh, the only skin. This was another Heroes of the Storm skin that if you either played or won five games that you got this skin. Very controversial at the time because console players couldn't get it. Uh, but the legendary skins, the beginning ones were Fire, Black Watch, the, the White Tiger one, and then we got Bushi. It's like... Like, at this era, Genji skins were not hitting. The demon one, that was just a reiteration of Oni from the All-Star event. And then he, he got two uh, remix skins. Oh, yeah, the Overwatch League skins that, uh, that has different variations. I kind of like how they do that. This is actually probably my rarest skin in my whole entire hero gallery. The Illidan Genji skin. This was one of two skins that came with the 2019 BlizzCon uh, either goodie bag or virtual ticket. It wasn't the virtual ticket, actually. It it was something that you had to go to BlizzCon for. So this was a very expensive skin that I got for free because I got invited to BlizzCon. This is probably one of the only exclusive skins that you still cannot get unless you go onto eBay and buy it along with like Pink Mercy and the 2017 uh, BlizzCon skin, 2016 BlizzCon skin for Bastion and Winston. The skeleton skin. I really wanted a skeleton skin for uh, for Tracer for the longest time for Halloween. And then we got Streetwater, probably one of the lamest epic skins of all time that came out of Overwatch's 2 shop. Genji, so many skins. <sighs> Hanzo, Hanzo, Hanzo. My hatred for this man runs deep in my veins. And so does my hatred for the skins. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like a lot of the skins. Like, what, what the fudge is this? This actually reminds me of one of the people from Demon Slayer. I forgot his name. He's literally in the first couple of episodes. Uh, but when it comes to the rest of the skins, Hanzo, surprisingly, for a hero that is, like, semi-popular, he doesn't have a lot of skins. Like, he has two of the same skins with the Lone Wolf and Dark Wolf there. Doesn't have a lot of epic skins like compared to Genji like what he has 27 and Genji has how many skins 37 so, some of them are overwatch league skins but he doesn't have a lot of skins Junkrat I love this hero but I love his skins even more the original clown skins with Jester and Fool were really great Cricket uh, well it's not my favorite one I do have an appreciation for it because Cricket is very popular in uh, Australia Krampus and, and King Jameson are probably my two favorite actually Probably King Jameson just because of the iced out gun. I remember I asked Jeff Kaplan a long time ago, are diamond weapons ever going to be a thing? And he told me, that'd be cool. That was He didn't tell me if they, they would ever make it, probably to never raise our expectations. Like, oh, he said that it could come. Where is the clown skin? The epic skin's very forgettable, just like him in different fire forms. The elf one that I thought could have been a legendary skin in 2016. Circus! This is the official bro you act skin because <clears throat> he's, he's a clown. Just... Just like me, Hong Kong. Mobster, I actually know the artists that made this. We're, you know, like, we're kind of besties. And we, you know, we talk a little bit. She never tells me about what skin she's making. But when I saw that she made this skin, it's like, you kind of good. She also made one of the Kariko skins that I'm going to showcase later. But my all-time favorite skins, of course, is going to come from May. And we have... We have a lot of skins. We have 48. About half of them are Overwatch League skins because for whatever reason, I just wanted to collect all the Overwatch League skins for May. But we're going to spend a little bit more time going through the May skins because, of course, she's my girl. First and foremost, Eco Point Antarctica. This is from the cinematic where this is her outfit at the end where this is the gun that she crafted. The Firefighter skins I absolutely love for May. Definitely an unraid skin set. Yeti and Abominable, some of my least, probably my least favorite May skins just because it's just 
just, I don't know, man. It's not cute. It's pretty lame. And I feel like this could be a classic skin. Like, I feel like this was one of the original designs that they have for me. They just made it into a legendary skin. But Sprinkles. A lot of these skins, you're going to see that I cosplayed at one point or another. I don't know if this is my favorite legendary skin, but it's definitely top three. I love it. Very cute. I wanted an ice cream skin for the longest time, and they finally did it. And <laughs> I love the little dollop with the cherry there. Like, there's so many little details on this skin that I just appreciate down to the sprinkles on her leggings or Snowball being uh, a, a little piece of ice cream in a cone. It, it just, oh, I love it. Jang Shi, I don't know if you guys ever have a skin for your favorite hero, but I couldn't play this hero for the longest time because her gun for her skin messed up my aim. And I think it all has to do with the fact that the, 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 the cone of the barrel goes outward. Mary, one of the first legendary skins and the most controversial legendary skin of all time because when you go in your ice block, it makes her ice block into an ice snowman. Luna Unchanged, I use a lot of time at the beginning of my Overwatch career. Pajama man, I got two of these pajama pants, super comfortable, and the sli I actually got the slippers right here. I got them slippers! They're, they're so comfy, too. The merchandise that Blizzard made is, is just always top tier. Beekeeper, uh, one of my favorite all time because I love yellow, it matches my keyboard. This was one of my first cosplays that I ever did. This was one of my favorites, again, top three uh, favorites. And then May, Melee, May skin. Uh, this was a controversial one, uh, mainly because of the haircut. The bear and pumpkin one are absolutely adorable. I don't think we gotta go through all of these Overwatch League skins. The reason why I have so much is because I did get the old, like, Florida Mayhem skin, and then I have the old Valiant skin that you can no longer get. And then where's the San Francisco shock yet? This is the old San Francisco shock colors. I don't know why they changed it from the iconic orange. And Retro Star, one of the newest skins that was in this shop, her green hair i love the colors i love the animated effect on her chest and that's only an epic skin the only skin that i'm missing that's supposed to come with the lunar event is the who Tao Mao skin? We've made it to Farah, another hero that is super underrated in the skin department. Even her base legendary skins are fire, like the Thunderbolt and Rain Dancer. I grew up in Arizona, so we have a lot of like Native American inspiration when it comes to art and design, and so I really have a, an appreciation. My favorite has got to be Enchanted Armor, just because it's the most unique skin, because it's not, like she has no skin. She has no body, but she makes up the silhouette of Farah. And I know that was probably insanely hard to do and justify, but they did a phenomenal job aviator easily like top 10 favorite skins because anytime you put anybody in an all black leather jacket outfit it's gonna be fire and she looks good man she looks really really good and then we got the rest of the legendary skins the hades one that just came out with the shop with the three-headed dog with a weapon charm that matches like one skin that i kind of glazed over was orbital underrated skin i love this one even though her head looks weird i wish they just took off the set piece even though it makes sense because well uh, astronauts need this I, I think it would make this skin look a lot better but the the gun look at this it looks like a ship that in space with the, the with the satellite thing it's like oh I forgot about the skin but I remembered it with the with the hair piece and then the rest of these are just uh basic epic and legendary skins so yeah Farah, if you got the gold gun for it, you got a good gold gun for a hero that has some pretty great skins. I don't need to tell you that Reaper is one of the coolest heroes of all time, but his skins match his energy. The base legendary skins like Nevermore Plague Doctor still easily top 10 best Reaper skins, but when it comes to my favorite, I gotta go with the classic Pumpkin Reaper that was in the first Halloween event. That event just set the bar for future Overwatch skins. Finally got rid of the two silhouettes skin design that they even kept in the uh, the lunar event with May for whatever reason and then we move on to the rest of the legendary skins we got the overwatch league luchador skin that came out I think it was either second to last or the very last skin for season five and then I got both uh, the uh, the gladiators and the soul dynasty versions of it and then the these two skins definitely forgivable especially for dusk and then uh, curse captain this was one of the free skins that you get I think you can still get this was a free skin that most people got and oh my god God, he has a lot of epic skins. Hellfire, I actually have this Funko Pop. This could easily, this is a legendary skin. I don't care what anybody says. And then those are the rest of the legendary and rare skins. And this is the only Reaper skin that I'm missing. Again, for some of the epic skins, I can't really justify spending $10. Even though this is a really dope animated skin with the little ghoul effect and the head floating. I wish they did more of that with Reaper. Like we kind of see that with Pumpkin, like his floating pumpkin head, but they just don't do it a lot. <laughs> we made it to Sword Dragon. 
two sword dread skins. I got commando and I got cyber detective. Again, I'm not really incentivized to buy a lot of the skins for the new hero, so you won't see that for Ramon Sword Queen, uh, Kariko, and Sword uh, But especially for Sword Dread, I just don't like even the, like cyber detective. This was one of the first skins that I got in the shop, and I kind of regret it. I don't know, man. Sword is just kind of a boring silhouette hero. Like, I love the fact that there's an African American woman in the game that's very strong and a leader, but the, the silhouette and even the gun, like, this looks like a, a Halo gun. Soldier 76, a hero that I refuse to get the gold gun for. Oh, oh. Oh, you thought. The reason why I don't get his gold gun is because he has some of the worst skins in the game. I used Night Ops for the longest time when I first started playing Overwatch 2 because just like a lot of you guys, I didn't buy a lot of the legendary skins because he only had like two at a time. But even his, like the, what, what the fudge is that? His hair is peanut butter with Daredevil. Plus his gun, like let me just show you how bad this gold gun looks. That looks disgusting. That's why I not only not use Daredevil, but I don't get the gold gun. But when it comes to the rest of the skins, he either has home runs of skins, which is far and few in between, or he has absolute stinkers. Alpine, terrible, terrible skin. Uh, uh, Cyborg 76, I, I never liked this when it came with the anniversary event. Strike Commander Morrison, even though this was a callback to his younger years, they should have saved it for the anniversary. Actually, I'm glad they didn't save it for the anniversary event. This was like a pre-order bonus or something. But when it comes to his actual good skins, Grill Master. Top three slasher, probably the best soldier uh, skin of all time. And then, uh, like, what what else is there? Formal is gonna be like soldier is just so boring. I guess I like a Space Raider that came alongside the the the, the Cole Casty skin with the Watch Point pack. Uh, but even his epic skins is also a little bit boring too. The the Michael Jackson Thriller skin. I don't know if that's officially what it's inspired from, but um, I, I like to think that it's from there. And then the Overwatch League skins, and then the rare skin. Surprisingly, he doesn't have a lot of skins and the skins that he does have, not that great. Somber is one of my favorite heroes when it comes to skins. Legendary skins, uh, not not so much, but then, and even Tulum's not that great either. But then, we get into the event skins with Bride and Rhyme and Face Changer. This is one of the most unique skins of all time. This came with the Lunar Event, where her mask actually changes to, I think, five different masks or six different masks. We have the orange one, and then we have the, the this orange Omnic looking one, kind of looking like Zenyatta's face, and then we have kind of like almost like a Reaper face uh, mask, and then I think oh, we have one more blue one, and then it goes back to the somber one, right? Right? Or the just like the classic design, and then the somber face, right? Yeah, there it is. People hate the skin. I love it because I love her hair, but I think it's just because I had this hair in middle school, so I kind of have a fondness of it. Uh, Black Cat's not a phase mom hairstyle, and then Zulong. I completely forgot about the skin, but this was the Shanghai Dragons champion championship skin. I can't wait for the, uh, who, oh, the Dallas Fuels championship skin. And then Demon Hunter. This was the 2018 BlizzCon and then came with the Halloween event. And I remember that for the longest time, that skin just wasn't coming out for whatever reason. Her epic skins are very forgettable. I used Peppermint for the longest time when I first started to play Overwatch when it came out in 2016. I used a lot of epic skins at the beginning around the, the winter event. This, along with Doomfist, came out with the, um, with, uh, the Founders Pack. One of the last skins that released for Overwatch 1. When it comes to Symmetra, her skins are always some of the best in the game. Mermaid, this was one of the last uh, Summer Games events, and she absolutely killed it. Dragon, one of the most insane skins of all time because of her gun, the moving eye with the gold. Oh, this skin. Man, I still love this skin. This came out in 2018, the anniversary skins. I love Magician. I love the uh, blue armor. I remember I made a video uh, titling it Symmetra's Golden Armor, and whatnot, where I just photoshopped it, <laughs> and, you know, people thought it was like real but here is my other rarest skin that i have in overwatch is tyrodine 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 this this is another blizzcon exclusive skin that you still can only get from 2019 blizzcon if you went while i wish i was a fan of world of warcraft to have a bigger appreciation for the skin she looks great i love the purple skin i love the hair i love the green hair let me look at her gun once oh the feathers on it too i'm always rocking this skin just because i want to flex to feel better about myself uh, because i don't have a lot of things that make me feel good. We're moving on to the epic skins, very forgettable ones that, uh, again, I don't need a uh, whole, ooh, ooh, this one, this is really great because this is actually a holiday celebrated in India where they just throw paint on people and it's supposed to be a celebration of life and colors and whatnot. And I love that. I think it even shows up, ooh, yeah, on the gun too. Cobra Queen came out in this season's battle pass and she <laughs> looks like the Matrix, man. There's some art uh, pieces in there that also calls to the Matrix as well. Torbjorn, while he's one of my favorite characters in the game, his skin 
hands just are very, very lame. And I don't know if it's because uh, for the longest time, Torbin was seen as this throw hero. But his skins, man, besides like Surf and Splash, one of the best skins of all time because, I mean... Look at it. How could it not be one of the best skins? I mean, Viking. Really, like, Lumberjack. Uh, Santa, I guess Santa Claus that should go. One of the first Santa skins that we ever got. But who's really itching to get the Zhang V Torbjorn skin? This is, like, looking like macaroni. It looks, it looks so gross and disgusting. And then the epic skins, also forgettable, or with Rust Cloud, Overwatch League, and then the rare skins. The only one that I'm missing is the captain skin. And I said that this was his seaman skin because he's a, a sea man. People on Twitter didn't really get the joke. The cover art girl for Overwatch, or at least Overwatch 1, we got Tracer. So her base legendary skins, nobody was really a fan of, and I never even really used them. Even her, 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 what is it? The summer game skins. I liked the track and field, but other than that, that was about it for the longest time. Like, even Jingle, that was a skin that came out in the 2016 Winter Wonderland event. This would be an epic skin, or at least hopefully it would be an epic skin. But slowly but surely, she started to get some fire skin. will o -Wisp, one of my favorite skins of all time because of the colors, because of the glow, but this might be pay to lose because this is a glowing, like, headshot like, indicate, like, shoot here, please. <laughs> What's another one of my favorite traces? Oh, graffiti, man. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. It was at this moment that Tracer started to get much better skins. We got tagged or a reimagined or remix skin with the last remix event that came out this year. The All Star skin was absolutely fire with the Genji skin, a uh, slipstream. I use this one actually a lot because she just didn't have a lot of good skins for the longest time. And Street Urchin, I actually like this one. <laughs> she looks like Harry Potter or like a little London boy with the haircut and the clothes. If you want to be a broke boy and not get the Tracer gold gun, this is an actual gold gun, but you would get pop because it would basically give you a gold gun and then a lot of the epic skins. Ooh, Rose. Ooh, this was a clean one. Wait, where's the flowers? What? There's supposed to be flowers on Rose. What happened? Let me tell you about lightning though real quickly. This was a promotional skin with McDonald's only in Australia. They use this skin for a British hero with an American burger company to promote it in Australia. And you didn't even get like a special meal like Travis Scott or BTS. You just got a regular meal with the code for the skin. And it's one of the worst skins of all time. I just, ooh, the marketing team, man. They, they, they need to ask me to help them out. And the final DPS here is gonna be Widowmaker. I used this skin for the longest time because I'm just, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so, she's just sexy, man. She's obviously sexy and she knows it. When it comes to the epic skins, I always Always love me a good Widowmaker skin. I mean, this is a hero that I'm always simple for. The summer game skin. They did a summer bathing suit skin very, very tastefully. Black Lily, probably one of the most like beautiful work of art skins of our time because of the details with the Black Lily flower and the elegant design and the swirls and the beads and whatnot. A pale serpent. Th this is beautiful, man. If they would have had a remix skin, I wish they would have done like a green viper skin of this one because it would have looked so so dope. One of my favorite Widowmaker skins got Talon that calls back to the days before she was like a, this hardcore killer where whenever she killed like her husband, her skin turned blue because she turned cold blooded. That's the lore behind Widowmaker's skin uh, being blue. And then we got Kirigan and New War. This used to be, <laughs> this used to be one of the rarest skins in Overwatch 2 because the only way you can get it was if you pre-ordered Overwatch. But I managed to find a code on eBay for like 20 bucks or something but before like overwatch 2 or some other promotion that came recently this skin was scaling for like easily 100 bucks but eventually they made the skin available for nintendo switch users where if you bought it either on the shop you got the skin for free and only for switch users but then obviously they had the, the cross progression and that's the only time that are one of the rare skins of all the time did come back moving on to the epic skins my god she has so many epic skins man that i honestly just forget about that electric one with the Miami Vice colors look phenomenal. I'm surprised I didn't get Cyber Devil. I actually, I just really like this skin, man. Uh, but then we got Medusa. Man. Can I just simp over my girl Widowmaker one more time? Here are the Honest skins. Another hero that has some of the best skins in the game, even with her legendary skins, like with Captain Amari and Horus. Like the Waste 
Wasteland and Wadget, though those are terrible, but the event skins is what makes her so dope because she just has a wide range of vibes. So, Cabana Ana, th 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 this carefree grandma that's on retirement, but then we got Corsair, a pirate, a mummy? Are you kidding? A snow owl sniper woman? And then we just have her as a sniper. I actually really like this skin because it kind of reminds me of my mom. My mom has the same hairstyle as well. I have her eyes like that. Uh, but then moving on to the rest of the skins, again, she just has so many different vibes. This came with the either 2020, 2021, uh, uh, one of the tournaments and whatnot, and then Botanist. This is a safari skin that alongside uh, Ash is her in the safari. But my god, she just has so many skins that are great. Ghoul, Gingerbread, Tall. Th this is probably one of the creepiest skins of all time. Like, if you want a Sari skin around Halloween time, wear this one. Don't wear Ghoul. No, nah, wear this one. And then we got the Anabastet skin challenge. This was the second skin challenge that came uh, from the first one right after the Diva Nanacola skin challenge. And yeah, Ana, honestly, fire skins, mainly just because of her sniper. Like, like if we could just look I think my favorite one has got to be Snow Owl with the, with the owl on the side. Baptiste, another hero that I completed this skin gallery for, and one that I honestly didn't even realize I completed because I don't like a lot of Baptiste skins. Like, I think I'm even using, oh, I'm using Blue Steel because I spent $10 of the skin. Of course, I'm going to use it. Uh, but Tropical was probably one that I used the most just because I love the gun with the coconut. Uh, but Snowboarder, so forgettable. Talon, great lore story. Don't really care for it because we've gotten so many Talon skins at this point. Arctic Ops and Funk. Actually, this skin. This skin is finally cool because at first when the skin arrived, his discus didn't have the disco ball effect, but then they patched this skin that allowed it to have the disco ball effect. Besides that, I mean, these epic skins, they're just not all that cool, man. Like, I, I, this was another skin uh, Twitch job that you got for watching Twitch streams. And then Blue Steel, this is another skin that I kind of regret getting. Not that great, a Louis Vuitton pattern, but that's about it. This, I feel like this could easily be a rare skin if it wasn't for that little B on his chest. Another complete skin set with Brigida. I used these night skins for the longest time, and I love the design of it, but I especially love the Torbjorn inspired skins. Like, this is actually one here that I feel like her base legendary skins is actually really cool. But when it comes to the rest of the legendary skins, they're either hits or either misses. Like, they have Fist Scar in one or a Police Riot, not that great. Even Medic isn't all that great, but hey... And this did help me pay for rent because this was part of a, not a Twitch drop, but where if you gifted three subs to a Twitch streamer, <laughs> you got this skin. A lot of people was calling it the uh, the Overwatch Twitch streamer Stimulates. Well, my favorite skins are obviously Goat and Vampire Hunter. The Vampire Mommy skin. Mm. It's, it's so good, man. I love this one with the skull on her riot shield and then the little lantern there, but the goat one. Let me tell you about this skin. When they released this skin, I was amazed that they decided to release this one because the goat's meta literally ruined the Overwatch League. A lot of people still believe that this is what ruined Overwatch. So for them to make a skin and sell it to us that literally gave us trauma is ballsy. I love that skin, even though the story is is so traumatizing. Ironclad, this is her Torbjorn skin. If you didn't like these legendary ones, then this one's a really good one because it's a callback to her dad. The the peppermint bark is really cute with the pink, pink pigtails and whatnot. Brigida has, has some really really fire skins, but only a handful of them. The rest of them are kind of lame. We made it to Kuriko, one of my favorite heroes in the game, and her skins, man, makes it so that my favoritism continues with this hero. So I only have a couple. I got Witch, and I got Hinotori. These came with, well, actually, uh, yeah, these came with Season 1. It was one of the Twitch drops that you can get uh, for free. But this one's really cute. The Matsuri with, with the little headpiece and the colors. I love the gradient colors. And then we got the Overwatch League skin ones, and then we got Visual K. This is her rocker skin. Mom, it wasn't a fake. And I love it mainly because, well, I'm emo myself, or at least I, you know, I used to be emo in like middle school and high school. I mean, what if you were emo in those days, you were still emo in this day and age. Lucio just has so many skins, man. And they're not even Overwatch League skins. Like, I, I got four of them, yeah. But going through them real quickly, the base legendary skins, uh, like, well, they're like kind of cool because this is a Dead Mouse inspired skin. I mean, this was 2016 when this skin came out. 
now. It was cool then, not so much now because is Dead Mouse even still making music? And then we get to the the Summer Game skins, the Lucio Ball skins for at its time were really really dope, but then are honestly forgettable. Only really a uh, great for Lucio Ball is his furry skin with the Snow Fox one. Ooh, the Equalizer with the music bumping up and down. One of the first animated skins in the game, and then Poison. They have three Dead Mouse skins, but the All Star skin is probably one of my favorite. Even though his head hitbox, even though it's not bigger in the skin, it is ginormous. But I love the fact that it changes colors uh, as well. And then, like these epic skins, man. Like what? Like how? Like you have the choice to buy this epic skin. Or this epic skin. Which one are you going to buy? The original Medusa skin. But I'm glad they decided to give Widowmaker the Medusa skin. Because my god, she looks good. I don't know if she looks better than, than Lucio. But I mean, hey. Megan even has a run for its money. We have made it to Mercy, and I know what you guys are gonna ask. Yes, I do have Pink Mercy. This was a Breast Cancer Research Foundation collaborative skin, which Blizzard does not do a lot of collaborative skins with people outside of their company, but this was one of the few times that they did, and it, it, it's the best skin in the game. The best skin, both looks-wise, but also what it was able to accomplish. I don't remember the exact numbers. I think we were able to raise about $17 million to help stop breast cancer, which is phenomenal. Ever since then, uh, people have been begging Blizzard to bring back this skin, and I don't think they're ever going to bring it back, mainly because of the contract that they made with the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I'm sure somewhere it said they can never bring it back because they want to drive hype and incentive to make the most amount of money possible. And while that might seem a little bit greedy on the Breast Cancer Research Foundation part, because now you can no longer buy the skin, it makes sense uh, for a charity-based event. The only way you can get this skin is if you buy an account, which I mean, hey, that, it, don't, it don't come cheap, but Mercy, probably got the top three heroes with some of the best skins, even the base legendary skins are fire as well, which this was a classic skin that everybody loved when it first came out. Sugar Plum Fairy, one of her most uh, like, uh, like, like seductive skins that, <laughs> that she has. Ooh, the Soul of Vim, one of the two lunar skins that came out of the lunar event last year, and a lot of people did not like the fact that there was only two. I'm just starting to look at some of these skins I just totally forgot about and then we have the Oscar skins then we have the royal knight skin i actually did a promotion and a sponsorship for this skin if you remember that dr ziggler that was a twitch drop event as well the miko one like my god mercy has so many good skins right what skin am i missing oh Owl Guardian. Oh, people don't like this skin. I like this skin. People are just being mean. Okay, the staff isn't all that different, but moving on to the rest of the epic skins. Uh, they're kind of forgettable. Her Swedish skin that came with the Summer Games one is pretty cool. The Snow Angel, even though Echo has a much better Snow Angel skin now. And then the Overwatch League skins. And then the Rare skins, which nobody ever cares about because she just has so many good Legendary skins. Like, if anyone were to have the best, like, overall set of Legendary skins, it would be Mercy. It's just hit after hit after hit another completed skin set in the form of Mora. she doesn't have my favorite skins of all time like banshee is probably the one i use the most because it just looks so good very fitting and i love how they incorporated it in the newest halloween event with her just running around doing the jump scare it really set the bar higher for what events could be but again like scientists and black watch are very forgettable venus while it's kind of cool it's just like ah, i wish they did more effects with like the venus fly trap uh on her back but mine th this one's good, man. This is good. Maybe not for the price, but it's a decent one. And then we got the epic skins, which are honestly forgettable. She doesn't have a lot of skins, which is surprising because she's been in the game for a long time. She was an added hero. And then finally, we have Zenyatta. I used Zenyatta a lot when I first started playing Overwatch 2 in 2016 because I want to main Zenyatta because I thought he was just so funny. Uh, but he has such great legendary skins in the form of Fastball and Cultist and Nutcracker. Like, just like Mercy, Zenyatta has hit after hit. And it all started with Nutcracker. This is one of the most funniest and one of the most unique skins in the game because he has Z Nuts Toy Bot. Like, I'm just looking at all these skins. They're just so great. Okay, maybe not the Lunar skins, but, uh... Okay, he kind of fell off a little bit, but for the longest time there, he just had some of the best skins in the game. Ooh, the Jonak MVP skin with the squid as the orbs. Ooh, that's what I love about Zenyatta is that he's just so versatile. Just like Ana, you can put him in anything, and he's going to look really, really good in the skin. And then we have we have the bootleg Houston Outlaws skin. And then the other epic skins, we have air, earth, leaf. 
water the, when the Fire Nation attacked. And then the only skin that I don't have is Cybermonk. I didn't get a lot of the Cyberpunk skins because overall, I think the Cyberpunk aesthetic is kind of overdone at this point. When it comes to the rest of Legendary skins, they're really great. Like Nutcracker is an overall classic skin. I mean, there's so many classic skins in this game that it's just so hard to choose one skin to use all the time. And we see that a lot with heroes like with Mercy, Zenyatta, and Diva, and Genji, and even Mei. And that's what I love about Overwatch skins is that they're just so colorful and fun and versatile and it really is a work of art and that's why I love collecting skins but anyway guys let me know what your favorite skin is it but but anyway guys let me know what your favorite skin is in overwatch and I'll see you guys later I love you guys and bye